spoke about finding the surface area of a triangular prism. A triangular prism is made up of two triangular bases and three rectangular faces. So we need to do two of whatever our formula is for a triangle, which is one half base times height. Our base of our triangle on this shape is going to be six, and our height of our triangle would be four. So our area of both triangles together is 24. Now we need to find the rectangles. The length of all three of my rectangles is going to be 10 because this line is 10, which means this dotted line in the back is 10, and that is also 10. So I need the width because I know that area of a rectangle is length times width. So the trick here is that you're going to use the three sides of your triangle for the width of each rectangle. So 10 times 8, 10 times 5, and 10 times 6. Once you've found the area of each face of our shape, we want to add all of those up, which will give me 214 inches squared. For our next example, again, we have two triangles that are the exact same. So we do two, two of one half base times height, the base being 12 and the height being 16. So my area of both triangles would be 192 centimeters squared. Now, the length of all three of my rectangles is going to be 10. That's going to be this line, and it's the same for all three rectangles. So I have 10 for each of those. And again, our widths come from our three sides of our triangle. Once you find all three faces of the rectangles, as well as the triangles, you add all of those numbers up to get your total surface area. And when we add those up, we get 672 centimeters squared as our final answer. To review, surface area is just finding the area of each side of your shape. We have two triangles, so we use our triangle formula, and we have three rectangles, so we use our rectangle formula. You can find the surface area of any shape as long as you know the formula for each two-dimensional figure that makes it up.